when you say you don't use die on others, do you mean units that you did not install? You use no, die I mean, on those? I do use it on others and then very little on my own. But I will if it's really tough and I can't find it and I've got an hour wrapped up in it and it's the type of weather where I absolutely cannot pump it down and and um, charge it and leave it for a while or whatever, then, then yeah, I'll cop out and put it in there and come back later with the light and find it. Uh, Joe, what about you? Do you use dye, and if so, when? Joe's perfect. He never uses anything. He wouldn't do it or he'd die not trying. No, I did mess dye. around with dye years ago, but I never really had much luck with it, so I just kind of quit messing with that dye he stuff. He doesn't know how to use it. Ooh. Ooh, he experimented with it in college. Yeah. I mean, it was just like, you know, things glow and it's like, like materials glow. It's just, you know, I, I even like went as far as putting tarps over the outdoor unit to oh, look geez. in it and stuff. But did I, you have the yellow glasses, Joe? Yes. You did? Yes. Okay. I've noticed this. And sometime. I had the special it's light. I'm yeah, not a total not. moron, Ted, if that's what you're implying. It's like I have a flashlight and 3D well, glasses. I mean, there ain't no leaks. You certainly are, but... <laughs> Someone's huffing your Freon, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, another straighter is the culprit. <laughs> I'll tell you, I've had it that was barely, barely evident. Just because of the spot it was in, you know, like going uphill from a joint, depending on, you know, it can just pour out of some places. And just be barely evident, and you don't think that's it, and then it bubbles. And you change it and fix it, and it goes away. But it's a two-week leak down. So I've had to die. It's strange how it comes flying out of some areas. But there are certain joints where it just doesn't, I mean, it's just barely evident. And we're like, yeah, that's not compelling, but let's change it. And the leak goes away. Mark has a good point. Um, what is that, like a segue? No, well, actually, it's <laughs> only my opinion before I make these bold statements, but Spectraline is definitely the best of the uh, UV dyes for me. I make a jug. I, some of them might have seen the video. I just I evacuate a you know uh, recovery jug down to like nothing down to like as low as it'll I let it sit over there and run like 300 microns and and I'll suck a few of those uh, um, little easy eject one through five ton tubes into it and then I'll pump about 15 pounds of liquid 410 into that jug and I have a separate set of gauges and if I've got a leaker that I don't have time to invest in it and it's somebody else's or if it's a Linux, I mean, I could just about blindfold myself and go change the evaporator and it fixes the Linux, but 